A few days ago, I decided to have my soya prepared by myself to save costs and ensure standard hygiene. I needed a place where I could filter and have my soya processed. Someone recommended a woman who does that perfectly. The challenge is that she lives in a difficult to access remote village. We decided to take a journey to visit Madame Odupe's business place. Unfortunately, we met ashes and remnant from a burned shop when we got there. A neighbor said Madame Odupe had lost everything in her little store to fire the previous night. She lost three agro-processing machines including a popcorn production machine. Madame Odupe's services include grinding grains such as millet, soya, beans, guinea corn and popcorn production. Her family, including her husband, depends on her business for livelihoods and payment of bills. I decided to ask someone to take me and a friend who went with me to her house, but unfortunately we met her absent. I phoned her to meet me at the scene of the fire incident that destroyed her business the following day. Before now, she sold firewood after cutting trees from the forest and allowing them to dry before selling them to earn income. This is one of such businesses many rural women who do not have the skills or capital to start a business engage in. Madame Modupe is now contemplating going back to her old business which contributes to forest tree damage and the loss of animal species. We revisited her the following day and promised to help her start her business again, which helped her to meet the needs of her family. Now, with a new store secured for her and payment of a new machine by the Rural Watch Africa Initiative Rwai, Madame Modupe is excited that she is able to resume her business.